Narcissists struggle immensely with rejection and no contact due to their profound reliance on external validation to feel valued. They lack a stable sense of self-worth, constantly seeking narcissistic supply from others to fill an inner void. This supply comes in various forms, compliments, material possessions, social status, that bolster their fragile ego and mask feelings of worthlessness. Their attachment to people is not based on genuine connection, but rather on extracting validation and admiration. Narcissists derive satisfaction from maintaining a facade of superiority, often at the expense of demeaning and devaluing others. This behavior reinforces their sense of control and importance. If you become a target of a narcissist, it's because they perceive you as a source of validation. They are drawn to empathetic individuals who are willing to extend kindness, viewing them solely as means to fulfill their own needs. For them, relationships are transactional, serving to bolster their ego rather than fostering genuine emotional bonds. When rejected or faced with no contact, narcissists experience what is termed a narcissistic injury. This deep emotional wound stems from their fragile ego, which is vulnerable beneath their outward arrogance. Such rejection can trigger aggressive or manipulative responses as they strive to regain control and reaffirm their superiority. The aftermath of rejection often leads to intensified efforts by the narcissist to regain dominance. This may involve tactics like intimidation, spreading falsehoods, or orchestrating smear campaigns against the person who initiated the rejection. In severe cases, particularly with malignant narcissists, this can escalate to violence, stalking, or threats. Rejection is terrifying for narcissists as it threatens their main source of validation, the attention and admiration they crave. They may retaliate in ways intended to inflict emotional pain or damage your reputation to make you regret rejecting them. Their inability to accept loss or criticism drives vindictive behaviors aimed at restoring their perceived dominance. If you choose to initiate no contact with a narcissist, it's crucial for your well-being to acknowledge and commit to this decision. Prepare for potential backlash, but remain resolute in maintaining boundaries. Seek support to protect yourself from manipulative tactics like gaslighting or attempts to elicit sympathy from others. Narcissists may try to re-engage you with promises of change and renewed affection when they sense rejection. Their fear of being rejected drives them to pursue schemes to regain influence over you rather than facing the reality of the rejection itself. In conclusion, navigating a relationship with a narcissist involves recognizing their patterns and preparing for their reactions. Establishing firm boundaries and seeking support are essential steps in protecting yourself from the manipulative and retaliatory behaviors typical of narcissists.